No, can the letters in your name really spell doom and gloom? Well, Lawrence Page is here to tell us if disaster strikes and then can reveal that there is trouble on the horizon. Is this right, Lawrence? Nice to meet you. I mean, you know, my name's Eve. Does that mean I'm big trouble? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Certain letters in a person's name tend to be negative. Right. The letter H, for example, a B, a U, an X, a W, really? they tend to be negative letters. Oh. Now, the, the point that I would make is that if we have a, a tr an aeroplane, a train, a, a boat, with large numbers of people on board, mm. if they're all in those letters at the same time, we've got a recipe that could end up in a disaster. Taking me to our first one, the Hindenburg. Exactly. Now, oh. the, the problems multiplied because the name of the airship began yeah. with the letter H. Well, it brought stress and strain yeah. for the first four years. Now, if we coupled that with people on board with bad letters, even yeah. the captain in bad letters, oh, we've got right, a recipe for... It. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, if, if I got in an air, airplane and they came over the loudspeakers to the Tannoy system and said that the pilot was Paul Hill, yeah. I think I'd get off. So yeah, it's as simple as that, right? <laughs> and uh, you'll notice with the, uh, with the Hindenburg, it was a, a German captain called Proust, and the U brings three years of losses. Now, if he was in that letter, then there would be losses whatever he was doing. Oh. So it's a time to avoid flying, certainly. Really? So when you get on an airplane, Plane, really, you should ask the captain's name, and if he's <laughs> I, got lots I've of negative letters, they normally tell you, but by then it's too late, they've shut the doors and you're locked in. Then, oh, so it's uh, not good, yes, is it? Yeah. So, we'll move on to the next one the Titanic. Now, this is a boat, yes, and again, the T at the beginning, two years of change. There was a change of home for the Titanic. I'm sorry about that, but there was. I'm but feeling the captain, seasick. The oh. captain, Edward John Smith, he was in letters which showed great stress and strain and change as really? well. Yeah. The, the D in Edward brought sudden changes, even accidents. The O brought very slow conditions where you'd think it would be speed. And from Smith, he was in the H, stress and strain. So it was not a good combination for the captain either. So again, we've got the recipe, the, the three ingredients coming together. The name of the vessel, the captain, the person in charge, and then possibly people on there with bad letters in their names at the, that age. Hmm. Uh, I'd just like to make uh, it clear to viewers at home, that is a sound effect not me. <laughs> well, that was very interesting, but if we t change the letters around, would that make it yes, it, that would. it would not be a disaster? Well, I, I, first of all, I, I change people's names every day right. to make their lives better. There's no reason why it wouldn't work by changing the name of ships, planes, aircraft. I've never done it. I've not been asked to do right. it. Hopefully, I, I may yeah. well be. But yes, I believe that that would make a major difference. All right, well, that's mm. very interesting. Moving on to our last one. Pompeii. Again, a, a, a town where, again, the people uh, what, in yeah, there... I was going to say Pompeii wasn't a boat. No, but again, you've got an area where people can have bad letters in their names, and if there's that many of them, then you're going to get a problem. Um, right. you, you, you've got a similar problem, I believe, coming up in Korea, where the, the, the commonest surname is Kim, and they're marrying people with Kim, they're doubling up. Double M's can indicate often disasters and problems. Really? And so I think Pompeii was very similar, where we had families with bad letters, that coming together, lots of them, and then obviously a natural disaster, they didn't escape. Others there would, but they, 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 those families didn't. Oh, sorry, I'm just laughing at our sound effect. It sounds like rumblings in your belly, well, like, I did doesn't wonder. it? <laughs> yes, oh, sorry, excuse me, I shouldn't have had that curry. But no, but just very quickly, my, my name's Threll Keld. I mean, does that spell disaster? I don't know, I haven't worked it out yet. Eve is a name that's 14. It's bright, it's lively, you make a very good teacher, instructor, but lots of energy there. You need to watch your friends a little bit but the mm -hmm. ease always at extremes your life is never stable if it's yeah. always high or low oh. up or down i'm afraid well mm. thank you lance for that personal reading my, i'll watch my it for pleasure. my friends <laughs>